Hello everyone, welcome to another Light in the Box review video. So for today's review video I am covering some active wear and some news from Light in the Box. So I have been having this for a while now, trying it out and I'm going to do an in-depth review telling you all the details you need to know. So I do have a coupon code with the Light in the Box where you can save yourself some money and I'll put that along with the links to the items in the description box down below and if you scroll down you'll also have my measures so you can see with sizing. So now let's dig in. And I am going to start with this ribbed versions. So I have been seeing this type of ribbed versions on social medias and I was dying to try them out. So they have the leggings, the shorts and uh, I have two different crop tops here but I think it's even available in more options with the crop tops. So one thing that is pretty cool is that you can wear it as it is like a full set. Before filming the try on I took some photos and then I was mixing and matching and I also did a TikTok video. If you're not following me on my TikTok and Instagram go and check it out there because I put a lot of effort into putting up extra content on those platforms so let's be friends there as well. Let's start with the shorts set. I have everything in today's video in size medium so this shorts I will say is very true to size. I usually sometimes size up to a size large because I'm a little bit afraid that shorts is going to dig into my thighs. I didn't have any problem whatsoever with this one digging into my thighs area because they are super stretchy so that's a huge plus in my opinion. I really like also that they are high waist and they are not digging in in my waistline or anything not providing any camel toe or muffin top so that's a huge plus also i really like this rib version and i think that this color is super nice you can see like the ribbed fabric is a little bit like flexible in the coloring and in the back you have the v shape that is very nice for the booty and you also have the booty scrunch that is a stiff scrunch so it's very emphasizing and pretty for the booty area so this shorts is a plus for me i like them i like the booty i like that how they are feeling they are very comfortable they are not super super compressive but they do have a little extra tummy control so they are like ex a little bit extra support in the tummy area but not super compressive but i do like that in shorts that they are not too compressive because i don't like when shorts are like sucking in everything and like leaves you with bumps around your thighs and things so i really like this shorts it's definitely a thumbs up for me something that i will wear when summer is coming because now it's winter so i will not wear it in the gym now but but i do have vacations here and there where i can use this short so definitely a thumbs up and i'm matching it up in today's try on with this gorgeous top like if i have to pick one favorite item in today's video it is this top my friends I didn't even take out the paddings, which is surprisingly weird because I always take out the paddings usually, but I didn't take it out in this one. So it's 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 just a beauty, don't you think? I think it's super beautiful. I really like the details and everything. Medium is fitting me perfectly, very true to size. And this is like, it's giving support, but it's still a very nice type of bra. The only reason I didn't wear it was because I wanted to show you up close how it's looking. So it's high neck, but you have the cleavage part here and you have the zipper. So it's a very nice piece. And in the back, it looks like this. And it's a crop top slash sports bra. And I, I absolutely adore this one. I think it's so nice. And it is double layered fabric and it is a little bit thicker fabric. So it does give support and everything and I really like this one and it's also super stretchy. This is my favorite piece. I would die to get more colors in this top, like this top alone, but also in full set with leggings and shorts. But this top alone, I can see myself wear it for every day, for workout, for everything. I love it. Love, love, love this top.
So let's talk about the leggings paired up with the crop top version. So talking about the leggings first, I also have this set in a size medium and I will say true to size, but the leggings tend to run more on the bigger size. I think a size small would have been fitting me even better than a size medium in the leggings version. So they are very stretchy and that can be the reason why, but um, they do have tummy control or tummy support in the upper part area. No muffin top, no camel toe, no nothing like that. They are long enough in the legs for me and they are super stretchy. So they are not giving so much of a support, but the thing is if I had them in size small, I think that they would provide me with more support. So I wouldn't say that they are non-supportive. I just think that I needed them in size small in order to be more supportive. So this is why I do my reviews here. So I can tell you, so you know, because sizing can differ a lot as you will see in the other items. So um, this ones also have the scrunchy booty. So they look like the shorts, but they are leggings. So they do have the V-shape, the stiff scrunchy booty, and it's also in ribbed fabric, but around the boot area, it's some different. Like you can see, like it's some sort of fabric there and some sort of fabric here, which I like because it makes the booty plumb out even more. They are squat proof. I forgot to say, but the shorts are also squat proof as you will see in the try on. So I really like this leggings. I just wish that I had them in a size small instead of a size medium. And I matched it up with this crop top t-shirt version. And this one have the zipper all the way down. So this is more crop top. The other one is more sports bra because this one doesn't provide any paddings or anything. And I mean, it's giving me kind of support. I was wearing it without a bra underneath when trying it on in the try on. And it is supportive. I think it's only one layer. Yeah, it's only one layer of the fabric. The other one is two layers. So that's even more supportive but for being like a crop top it's very supportive and you can wear it without a bra underneath if you want to. I do really like this one. I mean it's a pretty crop top and it's very nice looking with the leggings but I mean the other top that stood out a little bit more in my opinion so if I would get anything more in this collection I would get the other top because I think that one is outstanding. This one is also very nice but the other one is just outstanding and I will get the leggings in a size small. So I will say size down in the leggings what goes for the top you can go for a normal size. I could have squeezed in a size small as well in the top it wouldn't have been a problem but the top is more true to size compared to the leggings. The leggings is a little bit more bigger in size. <laughs> goes for the ribbed collection. I will say thumbs up for the ribbed collection. I like the ribbed collection and I'm curious to try out more from that collection maybe in the future. Let me know if you would like to see more of those in the future videos. But now let's dig into this gorgeous top that I'm wearing paired up with the v-shaped leggings so this leggings have the v-shape in the front and it's contrast colors going from black and gray this is in a little bit thinner material compared to the rib versions those are in much thicker type of material let me see if i have the fabric blend it's made out of 75 percent nylon and 25 percent spandex and i have it in size medium i'll say the top perfect in size medium it leaves me with a lot of cleavage and i will say supporting wise it's not super supportive but it is perfect for normal workouts but I will not go running in this. It came with paddings that I did take out also. And what goes for the leggings, it's, I will say, a nice pair of leggings, but not something that is spectacular. Like you have the elastic band in the top, so keep them up. You have the V shape, so you have like a nice belly. They are squat proof and they are like a nice pair, like long enough in the legs for me, not providing so much compression, but they do stay 100% in place. So I will say for normal workouts and things, they are awesome for yoga. It's going to be awesome. But if you want to have something that is super high supportive for running or things like that, I wouldn't go for this specific designs. I would rather go for the ribbed versions but in a size small instead of a size medium if I want to do running and things even though I 
usually not wear scrunchy booty leggings when I'm running, but those are more supportive than this ones. The only downside I have to say with this is that they are maybe not covering cellulite 100% since it is in this grey type of fabric. And I think maybe you will also see some sweat on this ones, like sweat stains, since it is grey. Grey is very hard when it comes to sweat stains. Otherwise, it's a very nice pair of leggings and uh, I like this set. I think the bra is like the queen when it comes to this set. The bra is doing like everything. I really like the details and everything. So this bra I will even wear to other leggings, like for example, a pair of plain black leggings. This bra is going to look amazing also. So I think this bra is the star of the show for this set and the leggings is okay, but it's not something special with the leggings in my opinion, but I like them, but it's not, it's not like something that is wow. Like this top and the short set, I think is my absolute favorite for today's video. <laughs> Here we have the difference in the sizes. So this set I also have in size medium, but I can say that leggings I couldn't even I, I couldn't even get them on because they are so small. They do not look so small, but the fabric it's stretchy, but it's not stretchy enough for me to get into them, which is a bummer because I think that they were going to look amazing with this V-shape. Can you even see like it's V-shape in the front here? But I would have needed a size large for sure in this ones because it's it's just, I, I couldn't get into them. But here is the fabric material and the top is the same thing here. I could squeeze into this top, but I feel like it's fitting me more like a size small. So I will say overall, this set is very small in size. Size medium is more like a smaller size small. And as I said, I cannot even get into the leggings. The top is okay. I mean, as you can see, in the try on it's a lot of cleavage a lot of showing but it's also a little bit small on me so i think a size large maybe would be better off and then maybe i could actually get into the leggings so overall this is not my favorite set since it is so small in the size but i think this top is a little bit like it, it it's kind of a cool top i like how the set was supposed to look together i just wish i had it in another size but it's so hard like i usually never have size large in any activewear but if i knew like you know now that i needed to size up i would have gone for a size large and then maybe it will look awesome on me i don't know but it has elastic band in the end part here and it has padding so it is actually kind of sturdy even though it's so much cleavage and things happening so it's a cute crop top the crop top maybe i'll wear but the leggings i need to pass on to someone that can actually fit in them because they are way too small for me <laughs> So that summarizes everything for today's active wear review video from Light in the Box, my friends. I hope that you did like this video. Make sure to go in and follow me on my other social medias as well, because I do upload a lot of content and you have daily content both on my Instagram and my TikTok. So it's a lot of content that you miss out on if you're not following me there. So I hope we're going to see each other there and I hope I'm going to see my coming videos here as well. So with that being said, my friends, thank you so much for staying with me till the end of this video. And I hope I see you in my next video. But until then, take care, my friends, and bye. Thank you.